Welcome to Airtime with the Airport Explorers Club, brought to you by the Greater Toronto Airports Authority and Toronto Pearson Airport. Today we're interviewing Karush. Hi, Karush. Hi, Malka. Karush, what do you do at the airport? So my team focuses on you and your family, our passengers, whenever you're coming through our airport. And we look to find different ways to get you through as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And then when you make it through security on to the other side, we try and find fun activities for you to do, whether that's an airport scavenger hunt, getting you to listen to some live music while you're here, or even playing in some of our play areas. Wow, that's cool. Are you working on a project on how to make the airport a better place? We're working on lots of projects to make the airport a better place, a better place for all of our passengers that are coming through, while they're little kids in school, or even some of our older passengers that might need a little more help when they're coming in. Were you always interested in airports and airplanes when you were a kid? I've loved airports and airplanes ever since I was a little kid. And when I was a kid, I used to come to the airport just to watch airplanes take off and land all day long. Um, do you remember the first time you flew on an airplane? What do you remember? The first time I flew on an airplane, I was one and a half years old, and it was when my family was coming over from India. And the first place I ever landed in Canada was right here at Toronto Pearson. Wow, what a coincidence. What did you want to be when you were a kid? So I always knew I wanted to do something in aviation, but I wasn't quite sure what it would be. So I tried getting my pilot's license and I did that for a little bit. And then afterwards, I found my way to the airport and realized this was the right spot for me. If I wanted to have your work at the airport, what kind of education or skills would I need to do that? So the best skills you could have are how to quickly solve problems, how to work in big groups with lots of people from around the world, or just good communication skills to make sure that we can listen to exactly what all of our passengers are looking for and then figure out how we can make that come to life at the airport. Um, are there any previews of what you're going to do to make the airport a funner place or any new activities? Absolutely. It's a bit of a secret right now, but we're working through how we can make the summertime travel more fun for some of our younger um, passengers as they're coming through. Oh, okay. Has anything strange happened to you while you were working at the airport? Nothing really strange. Every day is a little different. When you have 50 million people coming through your airport every year, you're always bound to find something different. <laughs> One last question. What do you want mm -hmm. everyone to know about the airport? That we're always here to help. So the next time that you're traveling through, pop by and say hi, even if it's just to ask us a question or talk to some of our staff at the customer service counters. We've got some volunteers wearing bright blue vests that are always around to, to help you through and, uh, and just to make your experience a little better. Thanks for joining us, Kirsch. This is Malka for the Airport Explorers Club. Over and out. Want to learn more about airports and aviation? Go to airportexplorer.club. And don't forget to check this channel for more videos.